Hey, okay. Um, so you have your files. You might not have nine artboards. I have nine. Um, you're going to save this as an Illustrator file. So that's how it usually saves because that will allow you to go back in and work on it if you want to. You're also going to save a copy as a JPEG. And the JPEG copy will be what you put on your um, what you put on your blog, and you're going to save all of the pages as a JPEG because we want to. I want to see all your sketches on your blog. So to do that, you will go to File, and for a JPEG, you have to export. So export, export as, and we're going to call it. We're going to change the drop-down menu to JPEG, and call it whatever yours is called. Um, that will be a copy. So there's a JPEG, and we're going to do all the pages of that because I want to see them all. But you are also going to save a copy as a PDF because PDFs are, look better when we print them. So that's what you're going to attach to the classroom assignment. So here, my final two, I have a black and white and a color. You need to have a black and white and a color. Well, gray, gray scale and a color. So it doesn't have to be black and white. It can use varying shades of gray. Um, but my black and white and color are on my last two artboards. If I forget what artboards they are, I can click the artboard tool and it's artboard eight and nine. So I'm going to file, save a copy. And this will be um, SHTB final logo. I'm going to change that to P ooh, to PDF, and we only I don't need all of them from you for this part. I just need your final copy. So if they're both on one artboard, that's fine. For me, it's range eight through nine, and that will be a PDF of just those two pages. So the JPEG that you save will go on your blog, and the PDF that you save will go on the classroom. All right, we're going to stop the screen recording, maybe.